Welcome back Rebels to another episode of Creative Thinking. This is the show where we answer your questions and if you want to send us a question you can do that on Instagram at Rebels Create or in the comments on YouTube. Today's question comes from Fatima Kazemi and she says that she's struggling with keeping up motivation. So the first thing I would say to you is fuck motivation because motivation is never there when you need it it's it's it may it feels great and you're like oh i'm really motivated and then like five minutes later it's gone yeah like you can watch those youtube videos it just like fill you up with energy yeah those youtube videos like if you type in motivational videos and go onto youtube it's incredible they're so good they they hit something that's inside the human brain that just makes you feel amazing the music's all anthemic and you just hear these things and you hear these amazing people and it's like da -na -na, you could do anything you could crush your dreams you're da -na -na, the music's big building and you're like i can take over the world and then you just go back to doing whatever you were doing motivation doesn't last does it it's a short thing that you like that builds up inside your head and then fades away it's almost like a really shit friend it's the kind of friend that is around when it like when it suits them but as soon as things get hard they're not there to support you i tell you what does stick around though and that's your more boring reliable friend and that's self-discipline self-discipline oh hello <laughs> um, self-discipline is that's that's what will carry you through the motivation might be what gets you to to pick up the pen and start writing but self-discipline is what gets you to finish the novel self-discipline is the kind of thing that doesn't go away it's the thing you can build and build on and you get better and better at that whereas motivation is like that little hit that little rush of like a chemical in like rush to your brain until it gets to a stage where you won't need motivation because you can just motivate yourself yeah when you look at those youtube videos that we talked about earlier their views are in the millions. And sometimes I watch those videos and I see how many millions of people have done these things. And I kind of get a bit worried. I'm like, oh shit, everyone's figured it out. They've all worked out the, the, the tricks that are in these videos of like, of like hard work, determination, everything that those videos talk about. But then you just realize that no one actually takes any action. Like a very, very small percentage of those millions that have watched have actually gone on to fulfill their dreams. And the people that do are the people who can move past the motivation through to, because everyone talks about hard work. And that's definitely one thing, but no one talks about like when it gets boring. Yeah. Seth Godin, his book talks about the dip, which is when you start something, there's always that honeymoon period when it's really exciting, when you just got all this energy and like, oh, I can't wait to do it. But as soon as that fades, things get hard. It's through that next stage of grinding through the hardness and the, the bits where it's not so great that it's only after that that the rewards come like you have to work through that period and the only way you're going to get through that is with grit and self-discipline self-discipline is a skill it's not something that we're born with it's something that you develop over time so don't expect to just write a novel on your first sitting um, set yourself realistic goals say today i'm going to write a paragraph tomorrow i'm going to write two paragraphs the next day i'm going to write for for three hours straight Build up to these things, because if you set yourself a very, very enthusiastic goal, there's a good chance that you won't actually get there because it's too far of a leap. You have to take incremental steps, but on, but always keeping the bigger journey in mind. You see it really often with New Year's resolutions where people will make these ideas. This is great. I've got all this motivation. I'm going to quit this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to change my diet. Like my life's going to completely change. And then by February, it's completely over. And that's because the motivation got them there, but they didn't have the self-discipline to keep them going. And so I think you really need to say to yourself, like, are you going to prove yourself? Are you going to make yourself proud? That's the key. It's like, can you do this for yourself? You're not doing it for other people. You're doing it to prove to yourself that every single day you can go out and do this. You can go make yourself better, which I think, like, if you've got that mentality, that's the way that's going to completely win. Self-discipline sounds like a really horrible thing. Like, none of us... Um, no one wants discipline, do yeah, they? No one associates good feelings with that word discipline but it's important to remember that by being self-disciplined that's how you'll get the things that you want in your life so don't associate negative things with being disciplined with yourself at the end of the day you've got your own best interests at heart and if you allow yourself to slack off and if you allow yourself to not put the hard work in um, and you and you get motivated for a short space of time and then it doesn't sustain you're not going to fulfill your dreams. So invest in becoming a self-disciplined person. Build your identity around being self-disciplined gradually over time. And as the years go on and you start ticking things off of your list, you'll realize that self-discipline is what's going to take you through on those times when motivation just is not there.